you're going to read the gospel. Bless this time of worship and strengthen it. Amen. Uh, we haven't started yet. Have we? This afternoon, we'll begin by singing only a shadow in the yellow A3 songbooks, number 129. Yeah. 
abiding faith. I'll lie on your hands. I'll lie on your hands. I'll lie. will shine the dream we have today oh Lord is only a shadow of your dream for us only a shadow of your The joy we feel today, O oh Lord, is only shadow of your joy is for us. Only shadow of your joy is for us when we meet face to face. Our lives on your hands, our love for you will grow, Lord, your light in us will shine. Our worship continues on page 355 in the Book of Common Prayer. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. His mercy endures forever. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desire is known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Direct us, O Lord, in all our doings with your most gracious favor, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works begun, continue and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name, and finally, by your mercy, obtain everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of our lesson. reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to all Israel the words which the Lord commanded him, See, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am commanding you today by loving the Lord your God, walking in his ways and observing his commandments, decrees and ordinances, then you shall live and become numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away and you do not hear, but you are led astray to bow down to other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. 
I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying him and holding fast to him, for that means life to you and length of days so that you may live in the land that the Lord swore to give to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm today is Psalm 1. On page 585 of the Book of Common Prayer, the tone that we are going to chant it with today goes like this. Da 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 You may join in with your voice or with your heart, however you choose. Psalm 1. Happy are they that have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by the streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor sinners in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Once when Jesus was praying alone, with only the disciples near him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? They answered, John the Baptist, but others, Elijah, and still others, that one of the ancient prophets has arisen. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered, The Messiah of God. He sternly ordered and commanded them not to tell anyone, saying, The Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to them all, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves, take up their crosses daily, and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will save it. What does it profit them if they gain the whole world, but lose or forfeit themselves? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Lord, bless the words of my mouth and the meditation of all of our hearts, In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. It's good to see everybody here this afternoon, and it is really good to be back. Um, And welcome to Lent. We had Ash Wednesday yesterday. I see everybody bathed and got the ashes off. That's that's good. And, and, you know, just a friendly reminder, no alleluias during Lent. Strictly foreboden. No, no alleluias during Lent. So I always thought that was funny, but it's, it's a cool, very simple thing that reminds us that we're in a different, a different time. We're in a time of, of waiting and of, of preparing, but also of, of journeying to the cross. And so to, 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 to set aside the, the, the word that 
captures joy more than any other to set it aside during Lent as a community. It's a great, great way to remind us and keep us um, in, that, in that frame of mind and in that heart space. So I was reflecting on the gospel this morning. It's a, it's a very powerful key gospel where the disciples are asked by Jesus who he is and what they ultimately answer. And then Jesus' response that he's got to go to the cross, suffer and die, and to rise again in order to proclaim the kingdom, in order to make his glory known. So first he asks them, and what they quote is what other people are saying. What, what maybe they've read, they, they say, well, you know, the church says this, or this is what it says in the Bible who you are, or this is what my theology professor taught me, or this is what the historians say you are. And so they have all these outside references. You're this or you're that. And many people see Jesus that way. He's a good teacher. He, he's the Lamb of God. He's that guy hanging on the cross. Nobody knows why. He's an ancient symbol from yesteryear, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And even the church sometimes is not as clear as to who Jesus is as it could be. When people have to work really hard to know Jesus when they come to church, then yeah, maybe we need to work on it a little bit. So then he turns, though, and he asks them, but, who, but you, who do you say that I am? See, the bottom line is, it doesn't really matter all the other stuff. It's, it's helpful information. It not, never hurts to read and to study. And people's opinions, I think, should be valued and, and honored. But ultimately, it's our choice. Who do we say that Jesus is? And Peter, his answer, I don't think, comes from that wisdom of study. But it comes from having walked with Jesus. His revelation comes because he walked with Jesus. He saw what he did. He's heard what he said. He's, you've got to think, too, that Peter and the other disciples have seen Jesus do those things that aren't recorded in the Bible, but just maybe his demeanor, his, the way he interacts, the way he looks at you when he's talking to you, that they've been watching all that, absorbing that, and out of all of that put together, Peter says, that you're the Messiah. You're the chosen one of God. You're the one who's going to bring that salvation that has been promised to us beyond, you know, back to Moses, beyond Moses, from Abraham, all the way back, from the very beginning, in the garden, when the Lord God promised that he would redeem, redeem us. That promise, he's the one that's going to be, going to bring that about. He's the chosen one. And I think that's really important for us in our own lives and I think it's a regular thing that we have to decide. And at the beginning of Lent and at this season where we take a little time to be introspective and reflect who we are, what we're doing, how is God's light shining in our lives? It's good for us to once again kind of reflect, who is Jesus to me? Who do I say that he is? And then remember that there's a great cost in following Christ, that it's always the cross. That it is only through our self-giving that the gospel can be proclaimed. We can't say it loud enough. We can't give away enough of other people's stuff. We can't serve enough. We can't. It's through that self-giving love that Jesus manifested on the cross. As we embrace that way of being, that place in the world that lays down our weapons, whatever they may be, our defenses, as we lay those down and open ourselves to a life of humility, of love, of charity, of forgiveness, of grace, that that's how the gospel is proclaimed. Amen.
Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. For Kathy. We pray also for those on our Grace Church prayer list. Cynthia Vesak. We pray for Ukraine and the people with the <clears throat> end to war. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We, we praise you and thank you, O oh Lord. Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We, we praise, praise you and, and thank you, O oh Lord. God, the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise you and we thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant that the faithfully departed may continue to grow in the presence of your everlasting light and love. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. Gracious God, giver of all life, all hope, all joy, grant these petitions as we lay before you. Remind us that you are near to us, that you are with us, and that you are for us. Strengthen us through your risen Christ. I ask this in your name. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Take a moment of silence before we confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Together on page 360. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in everlasting life. Amen. Please rise. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Share a sign of peace and love with one another. Hey, uh, peace with you. I'll set you back.
So we're doing Eucharistic Prayer A, which begins on page 361. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and a joyful thing. Always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who was tempted in every way as we are, yet did not sin. By his grace we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer for ourselves alone, but for him who died for us and rose again. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. This time you can stand or kneel, or if you would like, you may sit. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament, serve you in unity, constancy, and peace, and at the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us, let us keep the feast. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you. Feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation.
Jesus Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. All God's children are welcome to the table of our Lord, and we can take the bread.
every and ever living God. We thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. And now may the God of mercy and grace bless you and keep you, hold you in the palm of his hand, and guide you in all your ways. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What are we singing, David? M73. I have decided to follow Jesus. What page? 73. 73. And you can mark that in your book in purple because we're going to sing it at the end of every one of the Lenten services. Decided to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go Cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me. No turning back, no turning back, no turning back. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hosanna. <laughs> That's cheating. That's cheating. <laughs> it, was a good, it was a clever cheat. Very. He's good at that. <laughs>